My name is Michelle Pollock and I work here at Anderson Elementary School and I'm Jacob's teacher. He's a third grader in my classroom. I became interested in the Bright Ideas Classroom Grant when I received an email. It said something about um, there's a multitude of grants and look at some of these to see if you'd like to apply. I've always wanted to have an aeroponic garden tower in the classroom. At the beginning of the year, when I first met Jacob, um, he was very quiet. I think that his self-confidence was very low. Uh, he's had so many struggles up to now that there wasn't anything that he could really do that would help build his confidence. My name is Mrs. George, and I teach the Varying Exceptionalities kindergarten through second grade class. He had been struggling in the gen ed classroom with the amount of kids in the classroom, and his confidence was really lacking. He was two levels below grade level. The reading was his toughest. As soon as we started the planting and the green things and the green things started to pop out of the rock wall and pop to life, it woke him up and Jacob just started to bloom. So this, well, and then he, you put this, sometimes you put it in here, and then, and then you test the pH and we write about it in our um, journal. He's gained two and a half grade levels in reading and, he's, and he gained from the first fast to the second fast to 40 points. Because he constantly comes and asks if he can read to me because he's so proud of himself. He wants to show me how well he's doing. That has uh, transferred over to his confidence to go up to the board and do math, even if he might get the, you know, get an equation wrong or something. My name is Coach S. I am the PE teacher here at Hans Christian Anderson in Rockledge. Last year, Jacob was a little bit timid to try new things, and this year um, he's willing to try new, new things. He's participating with his classmates. He's um, with his own grade level. He's just gung-ho. Hi, my name is Tracy Sweeney. I am the art teacher at Sable Elementary. Before Brevard Schools Foundation, we were not able to have an art club. Offering an art club to students outside of school really gives the students who want and need the opportunity to do more art. Before there was art club, I would normally go home, play with my brother, play games like Call of Duty or something like that and go to another friend's house. I never really thought that I could make art like this. Art concepts and using different materials helps to open up a whole new world to them and they're really limitless in what they can do moving forward. In Art Club, we don't just use pens and paper or pencils and papers. We use all different types of materials. 3D pens, different types of bonding materials like liquid starch and glue to make slime. If we do have something to bring home, then I'm really proud of it. I let my parents see it, let my siblings see it. Whenever I do something, I feel proud of it, but then it's already happened. I can't replay it, I can't look at it again. It's just a blank, a blank memory. So whenever I have art, I can, I don't know, hang it up on my wall or put it on my dresser, something like that. And I can look at that and see that all over again. I feel that art has not only made me better at drawing, but made me better as a person, better to focus, better, a longer attention span. I've been able to communicate a little bit better with people with different ideas. I've been able to agree with people with different ideas. I've started a comic about a person who's been woken up in a, another dimension. Everything's different. I would try, but my comics would never really look how I wanted them to. But then after Art Club, after not being able to make what I thought I wanted to, I still said, still looks better than before I joined Art Club. I can tell I'm getting better. Hi, I'm Damien Grincher. I'm a senior at Melbourne High School. Before I started Take Stock, I really didn't have many motivations, many people pushing me other than like, you know, my mother. I honestly didn't think that I would really get that far in school, maybe finish high school. Damien was a, uh, a gifted student in the elementary school program, so he was with me for multiple years because I'm able to teach kids from K through sixth grade. Damien came to us with a number of challenges. He and his family were experiencing homelessness. They were experiencing food insecurity, um, a lack of basic supplies for school and even hygiene supplies. It was a lot of just like not knowing really where I was going to be the next day and it's hard to kind of, you know, keep a 
steady focus on education when there's so many other factors going on. Mrs. Miller actually did a lot for my family too. She went beyond uh, just her job and she and her husband um, actually brought me and my family uh, different toys on uh, one Christmas I remember and when we were staying in a house with like hardly any furniture she brought me and my sister a mattress to sleep on. We were sitting by candlelight playing cards, no electricity in the house, you know, no no lights, no refrigerator even. Damien was the kind of kid who needed a mentor. When I was in middle school, I actually didn't know what Take Stock and Children was. When I started high school at Melbourne High, I was introduced to Mr. Middleton. It was just easy to look up to him and to take his advice. I'm Charles Middleton. I've been Damien's mentor since he was in ninth grade. Yeah, right away I could tell he's a really bright kid. He's got a lot of potential. It was really exciting to uh, just think of where he could go in four years. As a mentor, we have a different kind of role than the parents. Damien's been really great teaching me. It's lucky to be born handsome and kind and smart, but unless you have support from community and the schools, it's really difficult. And I'm so glad that Damien had the opportunity through Take Stock to have support and a mentor and to make it into college. Mm -hmm.